Hello and welcome to Question Time, where I answer one of your questions. How do I decide what to cook every day? Hmm. You know what? That is, I think every woman or man who does the cooking has this problem. It's like, what's for dinner, mom? Or what's for dinner, dad? Uh, and my husband has a great way of asking this question. What are we planning for lunch? What are we planning for dinner? And I, I ask, like, are you talking about the royal we? Or are you just saying we because it doesn't make me feel like it's just me? But I'm the one who's always kind of thinking, okay, what is our next meal going to be? What are we eating and stuff? So I try and plan out what we eat during the week and that's based on what's in my fridge so i check my fridge and see what i have in there that i should use up and i think of dishes that i can make using those things and then in my pantry as well i have a very well stocked pantry so um, if i'm thinking about something i make sure that i have the ingredients in my pantry for that and uh, i generally have like standard days like Monday is being Gujarati is usually a day for pulse so like mung dal or mung curry or you know like um, val or something some pulse I'll have on Monday Wednesday is a meat day so like lamb or um, kima curry Friday generally is a fish day and then uh, Sunday is a chicken day. This is how it all started at my mum's place. So, and growing up, that, that's how we used to standardize our days. And, but that those are all dinners. So I try and stick to that. But then there's a spanner in the works where my son is vegan. So now I have to think and reduce my meat intake. So I kind of plan with that, like if my son is at home for dinner, then I have to think about, okay, I have to make either, if I'm making a meat dish, then I have to think, okay, what am I gonna make on the side that's vegan? Or I say, okay, well that day, I'm not going to make two dishes, I'm actually going to make one dish that tastes like meat, but is not meat, like bhagat mutya, I think it's a great curry, it's vegan, but it tastes like meat, so it works really well. And uh, then sometimes if I'm stuck, I ask them, um, you know, guess what's for dinner? And they say, oh, so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. That's what I'm gonna have for dinner. So then that's what I end up making, provided that I have the ingredients in the fridge. It is, it is very difficult. I try and meal plan, actually when, my kids were um, young and I was working full time. So my kids were at school, I was working full time and I was handling all the cooking. What I used to do was on Friday, I would do a meal plan. Saturday, I would get all the ingredients that I needed. And then Sunday, I would cook like five dishes. So I would make like shrimp curry, I would make uh, another dish like uh, the meat for spaghetti bolognese. I'd do a vegetable curry, I'd make a dal. I'd make a couple of things so that my week would be like planned out somewhat and we could take out whatever we felt like eating that day and eating that in the evening because we were home basically only for dinners, although I did make my kids their school lunches as well. It was crazy. Now looking back, I don't even know how I did it, but I did it. I think necessity like makes you manage these things. I'm kind of like at home now and a lady of leisure so I can do these YouTube videos and cook during the day at whatever hour I please. So. It, it's really a luxury for me right now, but I remember back in the day, I was just on it. Like I had all these dishes planned out and I knew what I was gonna make. The other thing that helps me decide what to cook every day is making a list of all the dishes that I can make. And 
sometimes I go back and I refer to that list and I, I think, oh my gosh, I haven't made that in forever and then I'll make that dish. So I think that's a good idea. If you have a list of all the dishes that you know how to cook, then that way you can just say, okay, wow, we haven't had this curry in a long time then make that dish because what tends to happen is we keep making the same thing week after week and it gets a bit boring so you want to make some new dishes and the other thing is that's why I started my YouTube channel is like now I've got like several curries on there dals and stuff so you can refer to any one of those and then just make it so it's there to give you some cooking inspiration when I was uh, like feeding the kids and that, I don't know, YouTube must have just started. I never used to watch YouTube channels then. Now, like if you have any ideas on what to make, you can easily find a video on YouTube or, you know, just look at my playlists and you could find a video on whatever you want to make or even like it might inspire you to make something different or something that you haven't made in a long time or better still something you thought you couldn't make because I try and make it as easy as possible to cook those dishes so I'm definitely here to give you guys cooking inspiration so there you have it that's how I decide what to make plus if you guys say do a video on this then it inspires me to make another dish and then that way I'm learning once I learn I get to teach you guys so it's it's great it's a win-win all around do you have a question related to cooking that you want me to answer go ahead and put it in the comments below until then happy cooking